five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> oh, let's have a look. I have no idea. I think we are live, but it is a little confusing still. I need to, ooh, let me just lower my own sound and have a look and see if I'm there. Oh, sorry. You should be able to see. Yeah, oh, I'm there. I think I'm there. <laughs> right, sorry, everyone. Oh, yeah, I can see myself now. Oh, yay. Oh, I see so many people. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, hello, everyone. Thank you for coming. <laughs> right, this is always a major technological, like, feat. So... Let me just make sure everything's in place. And I think we're set up well. Let me just make sure you can all hear me and things like that. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be saying some names in a second. Can you all let me know that you can hear me? Can you hear me? Yay. Okay, I think you can hear me. That is so cool. Hello, Laura, Kaz, Chantel, Julie, Gretchen, Sybil. I'm sure... I've missed out some people. <laughs> Here I am with my new tech setup. And those of you who came last time will remember that I had some tech issues. But my wonderful colleague Dan helped me improve the tech. And so now um, we have a clear picture here and should be no glitches or limes. And I have two cameras, as you can see. Greetings. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Noelle. Angela, Beth, hello, Laura. I'm very grateful that you're all here. I'm so excited that you're here. Oh, yes, do you know them? Oh, that's so cool. There's some, someone's referring to the affirmation cards that I, I have put out here because I have to tell you about them. And I thought what I could do today is I wanted to do um, uh, a, little, a little watercolor session. So for me, what I want to do, right, with my lives is I really want us to create or have a space where we can relax, and chill with all the stresses of the world right now. And so I was thinking about what sort of watercolor activities can I do that will be like calming and not too taxing for us. So I have designed this little exercise where we're gonna do a, a little um, watercolor jellyfish, should be exciting. But also I wanted to sort of have some fun actually. And um, for those who were interested, I would kind of pull a card if you wanted to have maybe some guidance or some insight or just a bit of fun, because these affirmation cards that I've only just discovered are actually really um, funny and, and they're kind of like helpful, but not. And as it said on the front of the box, it says, I'll, I'll show you. It says 50 affirmation cards to help you help yourself without the self helpiness. <laughs> now, <coughs> I do have a lingering cough a little bit, so apologies for if I sound a little bit uh, holdy. And I'll also try not to talk too fast, because sometimes I can just blah, 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 and, uh, you know, come across as a, uh, I don't know, whirlwind of something. <laughs> oh, I love seeing you. Hello, Nancy. Hi, Stephanie. It's so lovely to see you all. I'm so excited you're all here. Thank you for coming. It really means a lot to me. Now, is the jellyfish, the paper, is it a little overexposed? Because I thought it wasn't on my screen. Oh, see, that's interesting. When it's on the YouTube, it looks different from what I see on my actual... Oh, it might be because of my arms. Ah, okay. Let me just do one tiny, one tiny, tiny tech thing really quickly, because I can do this. I am a tech um, <laughs> whiz now. <laughs> I have learned how to use the software. It's not actually that hard. Let's try this. I'm going to kind of maybe make the brightness come down a little bit. Oh, that's too much. Let's see. A little better, maybe? A little better. Oh, there was a tiny glitch there, but I think we're good. I think we're good. All right. The other thing that happens, for those of you who don't know how this works, um, you what I see on my YouTube screen is always maybe like 20 seconds delay, which is quite a weird thing so you see yourself in the past and then i sit here waiting for myself to do something and <laughs> it's a really weird meta experience okay well i don't know if this is slightly too overexposed but let's see how we go 
So hello everyone. Thank you so much for coming. I feel so, so, so honored that you're here and spending some time with me. Very grateful. And like I just said, I'd like to just do a little um, watercolor activity. So my hope for this is um, you can just watch and just relax and just chill out. Or if you want to grab your watercolors, some brushes and some water. And we're going to be painting a really simple but still effective jellyfish that's floating calmly in the ocean. I'm hoping to just create like fun and chill, chillaxing vibes. <laughs> and Lee, you're saying it's rainy here tonight and your parade was cancelled. Oh, that's a shame. What, what kind of parade was that? That's a shame, but you're here now. <laughs> Silver lining. <laughs> Oh, thank you for love, love, that you love the the jellyfish, Lisa. So I'll I'll um gently start making a, a make I'll make a start as people are are filtering in on this. Oh, captions! Can I not do that now? Sorry, Rebecca. I can do that, can't I? Let's see. Oh no! Can you? How do I? Good. I will do that. I thought you can. Can you? If you can you activate that yourself, or is that not possible on lives? So maybe it's not possible. Okay, I will look into that. Thank you for letting me know. I need to look into the software, uh, which because it streams it from a particular software to... Oh, you know what? I've just noticed. It also puts a line underneath. I probably moved it. Oh, here we go. Better? <laughs> there we go. I think it's better now. I don't know if I can do that right now, but I will look into how to do that for the next one, Rebecca. Thank you for um, doing captions. But I always thought that you can do it by just... I don't, maybe not, maybe it's not possible for a live where you can yourself uh, click on the live captions. A Winterfest celebration. That sounds so needed. Uh, here it's freezing cold. The UK has a cold snap and it is absolutely cold. That's why I'm wearing my, my, um, my little uh, gloves. Uh, it's so, so cold and I've had to put the heating on and everything. So, yeah. All right. So it's lovely to see everyone come in. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Yes, I will look into the heart of the, 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 the live captions. I don't know how that works on lives. I will definitely do that. <laughs> so, so what I thought we'd do is create a, a an easygoing, calming uh, little session this evening whereby you do not have to do a lot of complicated hard work or thinking or stressing out. Doing a little um, jellyfish like this is really fun. And you all you need is, oh, guess what? I've set everything up. But my watercolors are still on my desk. Hilarious. Hold on. <laughs> it's right here, though. I won't be long for long. I, won't be long. <laughs> I felt ever so prepared. And I like, oh, I'm so set up and, and well done. And then, no. <laughs> That's okay. So one set of watercolor. And actually, all you need, as you can see in the jellyfish, is we're going to use two or three. Well, I'm, I used uh, about three or four blues there and one pink. Okay, so Chase is saying that closed captions are available for the viewer to activate if desired. So you should maybe, Rebecca. Oh, they say unavailable. Oh, sorry. So I should have said that, I think. <clears throat> I'm going to just switch off my sounds here so that all my beeps are off. <laughs> so I probably, it's probably on my end that I have to look at the, um, that I have to look at the captions. Okay, we'll do that for next time for sure. So, yes, Little Big House, lovely name. <laughs> this will be up later of buffering. Um, so you would get, definitely you would get a replay. So I'll send out a newsletter as well. For those of you who are not on my newsletter, if you want to join the newsletter, I will make, uh, I will always announce there also. And then you can, you can uh, rewatch or come back to the YouTube channel. Uh, who else? Let's have a quick click for questions. How's the weather here? Very cold, super cold, a little bit of snow. I love snow. <laughs> and, um, yes, so I do like it cold. cold. Actually, cold is better for me than hot, hot, hot. Hot, the hot, hot, hot heat. I don't like the hot, hot, hot heat. Okay, let's have a look at this. So we are going to, yeah, my watercolor too. Lots of people comment on this. Like, I think it's normal. <laughs> this, this, this crazy, this. Okay, I'll tell you something. This describes my personality and the activity in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> I go, uh, that's sort of, yeah. If you just, what is Sam like? This is what she's like. 
<laughs> uh, other people have beautiful, like, you know, clean watercolor thingy thingies here. And I do have to say that I regret, partially regret it because I can't really use them now. But hey, what I did buy was these. These are really great. They are porcelain, porcelain watercolor tin, not tins, what are they called? Uh, palettes. And they are brilliant because they don't, um, the paint doesn't bubble up on these. And I have two. I do recommend them. And they're quite heavy though. So, and a little big. Oh, it's a doable. I recommend these. So, anyway, so all we need for the little um, jellyfish is uh, four watercolor colors, three types of blues, and one pink. Or you could choose other colors, right? If you wanted to. Melanie's here. Hello, Melanie. <laughs> So you could use other colors. So these two colors that I've chosen, uh, pink and blue, ooh, they're kind of nice, goes nicely together. I would say are probably kind of, probably sort of kind of primaries in a triad, but then I'm missing out the the third. You could you could say that it's because it's more like a blue violet. I'm kind of probably analogous really because we're kind of using a mixing the reds with the blues, so which makes a purple. So we're probably working analogously. So if you wanted to not work with pinks and blues, you could maybe work with, I don't know, a yellow and an orange. We could do all kinds of colors. However, try and avoid colors that are too far uh, away from each other on the color scheme, because for this section, we're going to be working wet and wet. We're going to mix the colors as they're flowing, as they're wet. And then if you have opposing colors on the color, or even a little bit opposing, they will make mud. And some people don't like mud. <laughs> and mud is okay, but not maybe not for the, this particular activity. We're not looking to make neutral tones today. So I'm just looking at oh, uh, Lisa just ordered cards from Amazon. Do you mean the um, these these affirmation cards? So actually, what I'll do before we start on this, I just want to pull one one card for. Uh, well, I'll have two two sets actually. It's so fun. I just think it's fun. I'm no no card reader. I don't, I'm not very. I'm not going to do a big explanation. I'm not doing a tarot here or anything. But I like the messages that sometimes you you're struggling with something and you just think, oh, let me pull a card and just feel like the universe is sort of supporting you. If you know what I mean. Now, but these the affirmation cards, they're kind of less. Um, look at how cool they look. And it's called affirmators. I'm no affiliation, by the way. I have no idea who who made these. Um, and they are basically just kind of like advisey kind of cards and then these is moonology and these are also very nice what i liked was they had a little um they look at the phases of the moon and uh hold on and then they have a message for you so but i'm gonna do it this way so i would like someone just who would like me to pull a card for them so if you tell me if you put put say me <laughs> just say me with your in the in the chat and i'll pull a card and you can maybe take a moment and then I'll shuffle them a little bit. I can't shuffle very well, so I just do shuffling like this. And then you can tell me if you want an aff affirmation card, an affirm aff affirmator card, or a monology card. And then we'll start on the art after that. Me, Cindy. Okay, Cindy. And would you like um, an affirmator or a monology one? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> right, I'll do three people for it for, to start with, and then we'll go on and start. Okay, okay, guys. Oh, right, okay. Everyone wants. That would be so cool. <laughs> I will do like uh, three people. Then we do a bit of art. And then we do some more. Okay. Uh, maybe I should just randomly choose what what moonology. Someone told me moonology. Cool. Angela, if you tell me what you want, and uh, I'll cast an affirmative. Okay. If you tell me which one you want, I know then which one to grab. Okay. So I'm gonna go for Angela first. Angela Brown. Take a moment. Maybe you have a question and see what it comes up. All right. Okay. This one. Oh, luck is on your side. It's the new moon in Sagittarius. So I hope that is meaningful to you. It might be relevant to whatever you are uh, thinking about or going through. And look, it shows you the kind of the moons on the back. And this is your new moon in Sagittarius. Cool. So Cindy, I think Cindy said uh, an affirmator. Is that right? I need to go back up. Okay, I said affirmator. Me, Cindy, 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 did you say? I'm trying to be fair. <laughs> it's hard to keep track. All right, Kat, I'm going to pull, um, I'm going to pull the affirmator for Kaz. 
Okay, so this is the this is the affirmators are really fun. Courage. No one is fearless. No one. But even though I'm not fearless, I am courageous. When fear shows up, I don't run away from it. I use my courage to con conquer it. My courage allows me to walk right up to that fear and kick it in the nuts. <laughs> then quickly hide behind someone bigger until it goes away. <laughs> you see how fun these are? I think they're really fun. I think I'm buying, gonna buy some for Christmas presents for these. Again, no affiliation. I just thought it was so fun. So, all right, I'll do a third one. Another affirmation, maybe. Okay, I'll do one for you, Rebecca. And then after, we'll do some art and then I'll pull some more <clears throat> because I can't, uh, otherwise, we don't get any art. Okay, another one trust. And look, the pictures are really fun as well. The art is fun. I trust that everything will be okay in the end. Partly because I simply know it in my gut, but also because it's way more fun to live with trust and confidence to, than to be a defensive wiener. Is it wiener or whiner? <laughs> also, wieners mean something else in different countries. <laughs> so there you go. This is the starting point of our card pulling. And um, also, I wanted to give out blessings to people. I don't know. I was thinking of glitter blessings. And I thought I would put a little glitter into a bowl for everyone because we're art and crafters, right? And glitter, even though not everyone's a big fan of glitter, is so pretty and sparkly for blessings. Instead, like, like fairy dust <laughs> was my idea. <laughs> but we'll do that after. So let's get started on a little bit of, and just look at it. Okay, here we go. Oh, great, great, Cass. I'm really helpful that it's, that it's relevant. Oh, it was a group card pool. Oh, okay. No, I was just going to do it for people. But we could do a group one as well, actually. Like, let's do that at the end. I think that's a good idea. We'll do a group one for everyone. And um, that would be really nice. And then it could be like we do a couple of individual ones and a couple of... And a couple of... Uh, no, the final one will be a group one. I think that's nice because sometimes these messages are really relevant to everyone, aren't they? Okay, so before we're going to keep going with the cards... Let's do um, the jellyfish. So I don't know who is <coughs> also taking part. You don't have to take part. Of course, you can just see, watch me do it. But it's really relaxing. Now, let's see, because it is a little, see, overexposed, eh? So annoying, because on the OBS, it doesn't show as overexposed. So let's try and see how to make that. Hmm, that's one new new thing I'll have to go through with my techie person. Hmm. What if I just default these? Okay, let's see. I'm not, I've just, oh, that's better, actually. But that's because my hand is there. Perhaps that's what's going on. Every time my arm goes there. Sorry, I need to wait again for 26, 20. No, you see, it's overexposed. So if I put my arm here, it's fine. And there's also still a little glitch going on. But we have resolved a lot of the issues, by the way. But um, that's maybe just my. I think that's right. Oh, okay. No, no, sorry. That's sorry. sorry. Yeah, uh, <laughs> never mind. I'm going to get started. <coughs> oh. Like, it's really not, not, not fun when, when what you see on one screen is not the same as what it then shows on YouTube. It should just show the same thing. That's a bit annoying, isn't it? But it's not too bad, I think. Okay. So for um, doing, a, doing a little um, jellyfish, all you need to start doing is first is draw... What should we call the shape? A half a kind of circle with jiggly edges that is almost, you know, goes out a tiny bit, depends on. Oh, it worked. It worked. It's good now. Oh, it's great. Oh, I'm pleased. It looks good now. Okay, awesome. <laughs> That's the starting point. We don't need much. We don't need, need much else for a shape. You can see what sort of shape it is. It's the super easy shape for those of you who are drawing with me. Or I have already pre-drawn this. I pre-drew it only because I wanted to position it correctly. In the, I wanted it on, you know, the, the rule of thirds. That's a good position. And all we're going to start doing 
easy peasy lemon squeezy i call it easy peasy stress relievey <laughs> is we're going to use a blue oh and if for those of you who want to know exactly what kind of colors i use i have the schminker series this brand is schminker but you can use any brand you don't need any others so much better now actually it's not overexposed yeah oh rebecca how amazing is that that you got the really sorry i'm just reading back the comments now that she got she said i have huge trust issues so you've got a really really good message there i love that yes so for those of you who want to know the paper well um it, what kind of paper it is is it just white the white paper yeah the paper was overexposed so this is um 140 pounds watercolor paper by saunders and waterford and i'm going to be using a, a variety of watercolor brushes and um my my set is by Schminke, and which the colors I'm going to be using are 479, which is a turquoise, a 475, maybe a little bit of 528, and then my favorite, 509 teal in the Schminke series. But in the other series, they'll have similar colors, so you can go for turquoise in any color. It doesn't have to be even turquoises, it could be that you're using other blues. We're looking for a kind of color, couple, couple of blues, and then I use the pink. And if you mix pink with the turquoise, you get a kind of a, we're not going to mix it a lot, but a little bit. And it's mixable and it makes a kind of a purpley color. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Sometimes it's really hard. That's why it's helpful to have swatches. It's really hard to know which color is which because don't you think that all these look pretty much the same? So the swatches really help with the, the color charts really help. Let me put some water in the on your thing on your thing <laughs> and then oh uh, thank you m haddad i don't know how your first name oh that's why melanie maybe that's why it works better now i have also um changed some of the settings on on this on the um on the software and it seemed i just lowered the brightness a lot it just looked really overexposed to me and that happened last time as well and i thought i'd fixed it because on the the preview in the software it looks fine but then when it's on youtube if you compare them side side by side then the software on the software it looks uh normal and then on youtube it looks overexposed so i had to go lower down like darker on the on the software so i'm going to just put a little bit but quite watery uh watery paint down and then i'm going to grab um and let leave it quite nice and and watery and i'm going to grab some of the teal so i'm going to work wet in wet wet in wet is a really nice and relaxing approach because look it does all these swirly things and you can let your mind swirl with it <laughs> you can just let it go and do its own thing and not worry about anything but you give your worries to the water i like to say give your worries to the water and just let it's very meditative to work with this kind of with this medium first of all watercolor can be so meditative and it's also just just very relaxing and like it's like i say if we use a topic or a, a shape a subject that isn't too complex then we won't worry then we won't don't worry about you know getting it right either you know what i mean <clears throat> we don't really want it sometimes we just don't want to worry too much about getting it right and if we can make something nice it's still nice but we don't have to you know even like i was also thinking of doing maybe like next time we're just going to do just some circles and you know shapes and stuff but i kind of just um did think what should i do i considered doing simple shapes and just playing with watercolor just for relaxation purposes right but um hello darla <laughs> but i also thought oh, it'd be quite nice if you do something sort of straightforward that still ends up with a kind of dreamy picture that can that can help us even that can help us i love the the jellyfish are some of the most magical looking creatures magical and kind of ethereal right and floaty i know that some of them are massively toxic <laughs> that uh isn't it the jack the the the, uh, the box jellyfish the most the most um tox toxic or poisonous or venomous my children always like to point out the difference between venomous and poisonous 
Um, <laughs> oh, and if that happens, don't worry. You just start to splatter already. Splatter a bit. Splatter is one of my funnest things. I find it very... I don't know if it immediately gives me dopamine, but it feels like it does. Like splattering. So what I did, by the way, so I started adding pink and then I let it also kind of blend, you know, like I let it just bleed into each other. And I'm also helping it a little bit. So, and we can help it a little bit more if you want it a bit more. You can drop a little bit of the uh, paint into each other's areas. We've already applied it. And now it's a lot watery. And that's okay, because what I like to do as well at this point, to get, I don't know if you see in the other one that I showed, you don't see that texture actually that much, but there was basically, you can create texture, because jellyfish, I mean, they are actually quite shiny and smooth, aren't they? But because they're in the ocean, I always feel like they have, I don't know, some oceanic kind of, <laughs> oceanic, oceanic texture going on. That's the thing, everybody. <laughs> oceanic texture. So if you take a tissue, a wet, a wet tissue, uh, not a wet tissue, sorry, a towel, like one of those that has a bit of a thickness to them. And you, you can dab off, you can dab, 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 the dab, 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 a little bit off, and then it creates texture already. Now, we don't want it to completely go on, so you don't want to dab, grab everything, but you kind of just want to create a little bit of an interesting kind of texture. Okay. Now, you know what happens live? I said last time. If you normally, I do a lot of drying in between my steps, right? <coughs> and, I, and I thought, oh, no, I can't cut that out. Those of you who are on my courses know that I normally just cut out the the um, <laughs> the drying process. And then I thought, oh, I need elevator music <laughs> when I do the drying process. <laughs> Here. So I could do a little bit of drying on a low, low um, blast. <coughs> <laughs> so we need to do some elevator music while that happens <laughs> bing 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 but also in the meantime what i can do is i'll go back up while it's drying and i'm gonna see lisa Rochon, 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 I, I think it's like that, or I don't know, this is the French pronunciation. Explain something about myself, sorry, Lisa, if I pronounced your name wrongly. I'm from Holland originally, and I learned French and English at the same time. And when my brain perceives a French looking name, I cannot for the life of me, no, it's very hard for me to say it in English. <laughs> in English, maybe Rochon, I don't know. Rockin', rockin'. Anyway, sorry. You're like, why do you keep saying my name? Stop. So I'm going to pull your card, is what I was going to say while it's drying, Lisa. Affirmation. Let's do an affirmation card for Lisa. Rochon. Um, let's see. Uh, take a moment to focus on something you want to hear or know about. And here's your card on my, while my jellyfish is drying. Confidence. In this moment, I take a step back and look at myself with the pride of a good mother. I see an abundance of abilities and talents that show up all the time in big and little ways. If I could stick myself on a refrigerator, I would. I would invite all the neighbours over and say, look at that. Can you believe what an A plus that is? So I hope this has any meaning, some meaning to you. And it's really sweet, actually. I really like this. For me, it's about... Something about, you know, it's about confidence, but what I like about it is that it's you looking at yourself with a motherly loving gaze. That's actually what I'm taking from it more than about being confident in your abilities, although that's also important here. But I feel really moved personally by the, the thing about looking at yourself as if you're your own mother. Uh, but a loving, compassionate one. I think that's really sweet. Okay. Now let's see where I'm at with my... Yeah. I'm going to just make that a little less. All right, see, so just have a little bit. This is our starting point. Just a little, little um, hat. <laughs> the hat. This is the, the the head, rather, isn't it? Is it the head? I have no idea if this is the head of a jellyfish. I think it is, probably. Does a jellyfish have eyes? I should have done more. 
I should have done more. Oh, is it fittingly so? Rauchon. Oh, okay. Rauchon. Rauchon. No. <laughs> Rauchon. That's sort of kind of what I said. Rauchon. Rauchon. Sorry, Rauchon. That's what you say. Sorry. So this is a real problem for me. <laughs> Thank you for the fingerless gloves out there. It's just so cold here. Uh, like we have our friend, um, artist friend, Emma Pettit. And I, for long this time, we just got Emma Petit. Emma Petit. <laughs> okay. So while this is drying, we can also already start on the bunch of tentacles. So the tentacles are interesting, but not too hard. So if you look at a jellyfish, I don't have a reference photo, but if you look at this one, you know, and you know probably that it has this sort of gelatinous, viscous, uh, uh, inner bunch of tentacles. And then often they have thinner ones that come out. So we're going to first work on this this gelatinous it's almost like it look a little bit like um what are they called octopus tentacles but i would say they're actually they're not quite like it but they have the sort of similar similar lumpiness they don't have suckers or anything but they have a sort of a similar feel to them so with the same color we're going to just start with a, a lightish um we're going to go we're going to go I'm going to kind of first do this, make a kind of a shape, sort of like, like a little tentacle that's going down. Zoom out a tad. And then on that shape, we're going to start adding some um, bumps with your brush. So you're going to just sort of, and they're not going to be equal. They're going to be a little higher, like little lumps, basically little lumps. You know? And you're going to become, you do become narrower as you go lower on the tentacle you could do like a like a bit more actually something like this easy peasy easy peasy stress releasy <laughs> easy peasy stress relievey <coughs> and then we might choose a different blue but it's similar in the scheme like next to it so i have this i've been using so far for seven nine now I'm going to use 475. So it's a little greener, a little greener after course. And I might do same on this end here. I might connect it up a little and I might, let's, you can, we can, we don't have to overlap or underlap. This is not a thing, is it an underlap? The word underlap, <laughs> overlap or underlap. We don't have to quite do that yet, uh, but we can. Let's just do one more where it's clear what we're doing. So you see how I'm building it up. So again, we'll do these bumpy, lumpy things. Over here, really, this is going to become a solid mass, really. But initially, we could just, we could just kind of build these tentacles up. And you can also do some on the other side, because these tentacles are kind of swirling around and, and, and turning around. They're not just necessarily bumpy only on the one side, or they may have turned. I haven't studied the anatomy exactly, obviously, of these creatures, so I don't know exactly how they... Uh, they are built but this is kind of how i did it now let's use a bit of the we're going to use a little bit of the same blue or which blue did i use yesterday i can't remember i'm going to put the pipe and even use a little bit of this one slightly less turquoise and then we mix it a little bit with pink so if we're going to do another one I'm going to have it slightly further removed from the others. So we want some space between them. And we're going to mix it in a little bit with the pink. So that we get variety in color. And the, the same with the bumpiness. I'm now making the bumpiness on this side. But can also do a little bit here. And just let the... Just let the watercolor, like, if you think, oh, I want a bit of pink maybe here as well, so it's not so separate. So it becomes a purple, as you can see. So we're kind of just mixing our colors on the page as we're, as we're painting, I'm not pre-mixing them. Okay, now this is going to be filled up more. Let's see how we're building. Oh. You got uh, you're you're using your opera pink for the first time, um, gypsy soul. 
<laughs> I'm glad that you're using it. I'm using it too. This pink is an opera pink, for those of you who don't know. And the opera pink is a Daniel Smith um, opera pink. Okay. Now we could do maybe um, one more sort of viscous gelatinous, but let's make it slightly vaguer. And what we do is let uh, go under the other ones a little bit. All right. So we make one and we make it go a little under the others. Now under or over, under or over, does it, so it's going to be confusing for it to figure out. We can, we can make that distinction a little bit better later. Let's make one that sort of basically crosses the others, however way. If it's under or over, we'll figure out later. And again, we're going to do those lumpy, lumpy, bumpy things. And look, it's already really pretty, and it's so easy, and it's so cottony. <laughs> Hello, Sheila. Welcome. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> Yeah, by the way, these fingerless gloves, people are responding to them. Uh, I think I got them on Etsy somewhere. Etsy is a brilliant place, I have to say. Really do like it there. Like They've got so many good stuff there. So much good stuff. I no longer have an Etsy shop. But... Okay. So here we have the very starting point, the very basic starting point. Of our really of our really calming, fun, fun, floaty, dreamy jellyfish. We're starting off with the thicker, viscous tentacles with the little bumpiness. And then uh what we're gonna do next is gonna build up layers to bring it give it shape. Okay, Carol Adam, you make it so easy. And is it easy? I hope it is. I because usually people say you make it look so easy. But you're saying you make it easy, so I'm hoping it is easy <laughs> to do. <laughs> because I'd love for this to be um, easy going, you know, like rather than super stressful. Not that it you can't. It depends. It depends on the person. Um, you know how you how you deal with our challenges. Some people get stressed by it, which you know I used to do as well. Still, sometimes still I do. So I wanted to make an easy exercise this time. Now while while this is drying, let's take some of our paint and do a bit more splatter. So all you do for splatter is you just you load your brush up with water and a bit of pigment, and then you just start splattering it like this. Or you can use um, something else to tap against your brush. Like that. And of course, splatter is really help, but like really works in this painting because it looks a little bit like bubbles. You know, it's too much. And if you see like pools of water that you like watercolor pooled up water, that this may be, <coughs> excuse me, hello, Missy Lulu, <laughs> you're here, yay, thank you for joining. Um, if you see something like this and you feel like it's too stark a transition, I tend to just add water a little bit and then help it blend a little bit so it's not too stark and that's the nice thing about watercolor you can kind of fix things if it's you know doing behaving in a way that you don't quite like you can eh, i'll just move it along a bit you know you can help it now that's it i am not a a, a purist watercolor purist and i might be doing things that actual watercolorists would be like um no you can't do that <laughs> and then to to which i would say yes i can watch me do it <laughs> <laughs> because I'm a mixed media artist, yes, I am not really a watercolorist, but I do love using watercolor a lot, and um, I think it's working out okay. Okay, so let's look there. Okay, so I think we have a good starting point here, and it's already so lovely, isn't it? You know, you don't have to. <laughs> I need special barricade, barricades, yes, or else my entire room is very colourful. Hello, Mary. I'm glad you remembered. <laughs> oh, thank 
Thank you, Jinx. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for listening to me sing. That means a lot to me. <laughs> All right, so while um, this is drying, I'm going to pull another card. Who wants a card? An affirmator or a moonology one? So for those of you who've just joined, and I, I need to be able to speak. <laughs> uh, for those of you who've just joined, I'm pulling a few cards for people. Uh, we have really fun affirmator cards. I'm not affiliated with any of these cards, by the way. And they have little affirmations in them that are are meaningful yet humorous and I also have moonology cards that have um, shorter messages but are meaningful messages so anyone who wants who wants a card yes hello Beth okay and okay all right okay uh moonology for Meg affirmation for Angela and Beth as well okay hold on I'm going to start with moonology for Meg Meg so take a moment to think about what you want to maybe have an answer to and I'm pulling this one, a time for healing. And you get the balsamic moon. So I don't have to obviously interpret this for you. <laughs> so I hope this is helpful. Hello, Anne. Hello. Yes, I will try and do a card for as many people as possible. Um, while the while the thing is drying. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna make sure that the ones I've already pulled are. Are not in the mix anymore. Although that's not that's not right, is it? I should keep them in. Sorry, I should keep them in. No, uh, you, you can see how I'm not an actual tarot reader. <laughs> no, that's not allowed. That card. <laughs> we need novelty. <laughs> that's not right. <laughs> okay, bear with me while I become a good reader of cards. So, Okay, sorry, I'm going to go off. A lot of you want a card. So I love that you do, by the way. Thank you. I enjoy this. Um, but it also goes, the questions go up too fast, if you know what I mean. So I had Meg, and then Angela said affirm, 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 affirmator. Okay, here we go. Have you got something for yourself, Angela? Have a think about what you want an answer to? <coughs> here we go. Connection. I'm connected to the multitudes and I can access their support at any time. Even a stranger offers a sense of comfort when they smile at me or make a dumb comment about the weather. <laughs> Everyone is waiting to connect. All I need to do is open myself up and pay attention. Note to self, work on witty banter about weather related stuff. <laughs> oh, I think that's sweet. I love these cards because they just bring some comedy in there as well. They don't, you know, they don't make you sort of too they you know, not too heavy and serious. All right, Beth, what would you like? A moonology or an affirmation? Or maybe I should choose. I need to scroll down now for Beth. Thank you for your thumbs up and your hearts, everyone. Right, let's have a look. Well, Beth, well, I, oh, oh, you have said Beth wants an affirmation card as well. Okay, Beth, I'm Lunsford. I'm going to go for a card for you now. So take a moment and have a think about your thing. Let me find the next. Oh, oh no, sorry. Sorry. Here we are. Ups and downs for Beth. I see life as an incredible ride and I'm lucky to be on it. Yes, the ups and downs make me want to puke sometimes, but they're also what make things fun and interesting. And when you look back, even puking on yourself make on yourself makes for a good story. <laughs> It's true, it's true. Oh no, all my glitter fell over. Oops, that's a sign. I have some glitter here today. And it was here, really, for, and that's a blessing for you then, Beth. Here is a glitter blessing for you. I was going to put them in a bowl. Um, I bought some glitter. I got some glitter for this project as well. It's going to be fun and it's going to be later on. So yeah, blessings for you. Blessings for you all. All right, I'm going to do two more cards and then we're going to keep going on this. I can't do them for everyone. I would, I would like to do for everyone. Uh, Amy Simmons says, me monology. All right. Amy, take a moment. Take a breath. And I will pull a card for you now. Here we go. You have. Your hard work is paying off. And it's the new moon in Capricorn. And I think all these, this, the, the way they've, painted the moon here is how um, 
the new moon at Capricorn looks. Is that right? So it's either, yes, I don't know, I should look at the book again. No, it can't be. That's an eclipse. That's an eclipse. Because look on the back is all the phases. I don't know what that means. That's just an eclipse. Okay, cool. I hope that was helpful. Your hard work is paying off. Okay, I said I would do none more, didn't I? If you want a card, you need to tell me which one, otherwise I don't know which one to pull. Jennifer Perry, affirmate, affirmate, aff affirmator, an affirmation is coming your way. Okay, have take a moment and think about what you want an answer to. And here we go. Jennifer. Oh, this is an this is a bonus card. I like this is in these as well. They are um, slightly different. And so this one is called Strength. And it says, you are hereby declared a strong, resilient warrior of heroic proportions. Make it closer. Okay, does it zoom in? Enjoy your battles, whatever they are, because you're guaranteed to come through them stronger, brighter, and more compassionate. And based on what I know of mythology, Probably with great hair and a six pack. <laughs> you see how fun these cards are. <laughs> All right. Hope that was helpful. Okay, let's keep going a little bit more on the painting. So I'm gonna um I will do I'll try and do more cards as well after I've done the next steps. Right. Hear the, the elevator music. Bing 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 bing. Okay, so now you can see, probably, yeah, that the the paint, now that it's mostly dry, it has, I'm just scrolling down. Oh, Jennifer, I'm so touched that it touched you. <laughs> Good. Uh, I'm, glad, I'm glad these cards are resonating. Oh, Alejandra, I think I pronounced your name that way. I will pull your I will pull a card for you. Let me do that before we start. So would you like a moonology card or a or a affirmation? And you know what they do when you when cards fall, they often say grab the card that falls out, right? So I, f I found one moonology card and I'll also get you a an affirmation card, okay? Alejandra. I think that's how you pronounce your name. I don't know. I've just assumed it's the Spanish pronunciation. Okay. Oh. So I've got here a personal issue reaches solution. And you've got the full moon in Cancer. And then you have a bonus card as well. And it says, this is from the affirmations. It says abundance. Congratulations. It seems you're due for... A little and then it's been crossed out an infinitely big piece of abundance pie feel like you don't deserve it knock it off it's already plated and ready to hit your table reluctant to take it in shut your hole <laughs> abundance pie is big enough to serve everyone so get your whipped cream ready unless you're lactose intolerant and enjoy your well-deserved metaphorical dessert now i don't know how this might be connected to illness but part of me wants to say, you know, you deserve to, to heal. And so this is talks about being okay with abundance of all kind coming your way, be it health kinds of abundance or um, physical abundance, like material abundance. And again, I want to say I'm not a reader, but that's how I would interpret this if it's related to illness. Sending you much love and a blessing for healing and whatever it is you need, okay? Uh, okay, here we have the cards. Okay, so now let's go back to the jellyfish that has going to help us with relaxation as well. Because they, they just float around in such a relaxed way, don't they? Unaware, probably, of the, <laughs> the chaos that they can create. So now what I do, usually, when I'm at this stage in the painting, I'm going to create um, 3D-ness. 
um, because you can see that like the colors have faded quite a bit. <laughs> can I read the dictionary as long as we are live with you? <laughs> Particularly when my, when I have a hoarse voice, like when Phoebe and the friends. <laughs> and she goes, my sticky shoes, my sticky, sticky shoes. <laughs> And she gets that really good jazzy voice. <laughs> I can try. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to create roundedness by using layers. And all we need to do is we're going to add another layer of the same color of that uh, turquoise blue there that I used before. And I'm going to start adding that not everywhere because, you know, you know, these, these are gel gelatinous creatures and they, the bubble blob blob around <laughs> they blob around in the ocean and you know it, and lights falling on them in all sorts of ways so they're not it's not kind of like a very fixed clear shape i have to say these things and so you know we just not worry too much about it <coughs> excuse me so i'm gonna kind of just add a layer of this maybe i'll leave a little bit white sort of and maybe some of that pink as well here and if i wanted more purpley i might just add a, a smidgen of that blue in there a little bit so pretty yeah. oh look at that the hair that's okay so the brushes i use are by fumui and they have asked me several times to review their brushes and i have done in the previous live we reviewed fumui's brushes and like i said before fumui actually so far it hasn't the hair hasn't come off but often the hairs come out of the tip which is a little frustrating um but they are for, for what i like is they have um the right kind of firmness a lot of watercolor brushes that's probably what it's really needed i don't know but a very flopsy i call it flopsiness <laughs> and flopsiness can sometimes be really good for certain things but i like them a little firmer than most <laughs> that sounds really wrong <laughs> okay can't edit this out can i can't edit it out um i like my brushes a little firmer so um for me we have the for me the firmness is good so i kind of deal with the fact that the hairs come out and so i'm now just kind of dropping kind of ink or egg um paint up near the edges so that it becomes darker there and maybe i'll drop a little bit of that in there a little bit darker and soon we're gonna go and do a little bit of kind of these not all jellyfish have this but they have this kind of uh grooves a little bit of grooves on there on their heads. Are these the heads? I assume these are the heads. I'm assuming so. <laughs> yes. have, I have, I have I made him fall asleep? <laughs> My wittering. <laughs> Hello, Sharon. Sharon from Adelaide. Hello, Joanne in Brisbane. Hi. <laughs> uh, are these cards by Jasmine Boland? Uh, let me look. Yes, the Moonology ones are if you want them and again i'm not affiliated with either i did i did one very specific cards and the affirmations just were so fun i just found them so fun they are who are they by oh <coughs> sorry uh it doesn't say who if it's by a particular person so it just says go to knockknockstuff.com or just search for affirmators on the amazon and you'll find them they're so fun so it doesn't say by who but the moonology are indeed by jasmine boland who i don't know i don't know who that is <laughs> oh <laughs> he's had a good time hey Kaz. that's good okay so, so here's the second layer now, and now it's, it's a bit more shape, right? And let's, while um, that bit's drying, we'll use, again, the similar colors in the turquoise 
turquoises I'm using a mix of the three uh, and a little bit of that one and then we're gonna go we're gonna go a little bit of a little bit of dark shadow here so not loads just near the edge of this head I'll call it the head I mean if, if I find out that this isn't its head it's gonna be hilarious do they have eyes? They can't see, can they? Now that I'm like really studying or painting it, I'm thinking, oh, I want to know more about the about this creature. So that's going to be like a um, a darker patch. But now you see how this goes from dark to light. We don't want it to be so stark. We want that to transition. So we're going to um, put a small amount of water on our brush. No more ink. No more paint. Affirmators also have a mantra and a morning mantras deck. I'm going to get them. <laughs> They're so fun, aren't they? Totally. And I'm thinking really good for Christmas presents. Okay, so and then you drag that edge. You know, you drag it so that it's not just going from dark to light. So now we're having more of a blending, gradual transition. Do you see that? So I used to find that hard. This is not how to how you blend, you know, how you make a color go from, yeah, basically um, more gradually from dark to light. Okay. So we're bringing that shape to it by, by working with darks and lights, contrast, bringing more shape to it. And you can do this, for those of you who are on, with me on Lifebook and other courses, you'll know how sometimes I'll do loads of layers and sometimes you don't need that many layers. Sometimes you just need like two or three layers. And then... The kablamo, you have a nice painting. <laughs> and particularly for this one, it's like not we don't have to do loads and loads and loads of in-depth, you know, stuff. But uh, if you do want to do more in-depth work, I do run a course called Lifebook. And many of you have been on it probably. <laughs> and uh, we start a, a new round in um, 2024. So information is in the description for anyone interested in joining me for a year long course. That'd be so much fun. But in the meantime, uh, I'm going to pull another card while this dries. This is a way of dealing with drying time, isn't it? Instead of elevator music, we just do card pulling. So I'll scroll up a little bit to some because some of you already said I want a card. I'm going to try so and see if I can see anyone who said earlier that they wanted one. Donna Smith, you wanted an affirmation card. If you're still there, Donna, take a moment to think about what you might want an answer to or some guidance for. And I'm going to pull it out. Oh, wow. This is a nice one. Check it out. Divine timing. Everything is timing and timing is everything. Gladly, I release my concern over timing and let things happen when and as they will. I trust that the divine schedule makers know what they're doing. It can take a long time to reach divine middle management. So for me, a card like this is about, <laughs> I laugh because I'm uh, a little controlling sometimes. And when people go divine timing, wait, you know, like, um, this is about trusting that things will come when they need to come and trusting life and trusting life to unfold as it must. And um, you might be similar to me that maybe you find that hard. So I am like that. I find it really hard to trusting that life will do what it should do. And, da -da 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 and I don't have to have, it doesn't need any input from me. And I just find that a little bit <laughs> hard sometimes. So Donna, I don't know if this resonates for you. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, I think it's about, allowing and trusting allowing life and to be what it needs to be and trusting that all will be okay in time hope that resonated one way or another and i'm just smiling because for my, it's a message from me basically as well and i find it always really hard to hear those <laughs> Let's see if who else wanted something. Now, the only thing I'm, I'm hoping that I didn't already, that I remember who got a card and who didn't. Sheila, did you get a card yet? Please, if you want, sorry, just write, write down again <laughs> if you want a card. 
need guidance. Affirmation, please. Sally, okay. Sally, I will give you an affirmation card. Okay, cool. So take a moment, Sally. Uh, there was a little glitch again now. You see that? I'm wondering why that would have been. But it's not very frequent, is it? So that's good. Before it was more frequent, that glitching. All right. Sally Talitha. That's a beautiful last name. Um, affirmation for Sally Talitha coming up. Oh, you have a bonus card. Patience. Congratulations, you've been granted more patience. <laughs> you may start using it right away much, much later. Waiting a long time is the sort of option now afforded to you by greater patience. Can you believe it? Look at this. You're still reading and you haven't started getting annoyed yet. Imagine how this patience will transform your life. Imagine how easy it will be to go to the post office. I have no idea if this is helpful for you. I know that I'd be like, I know, you know, I shouldn't. I think as a good reader, you shouldn't put your own your own um, reactions onto the card, I suppose. And, and I just want to say again, I'm no I'm no card reader. I just read out the cards and I, I kind of give it a little bit of my own interpretation and that's it. So, I don't know if that was helpful. Oh, okay. And we do Sheila, we do your monology, monology card. So take a moment. She now does a monology one. <clears throat> Once a monology one. Oh, okay. Conclusions are within reach, which comes from full moon eclipse. I thought the other one was more likely an eclipse, but okay. I hope this is helpful. Yeah, bonus card. So in this deck, there are mostly actual messages of affirmations. And the bonus cards, they look like this. They have There's five in them. And they are almost like they're giving you a specific, like they'll give you strength or patience or courage or something like that. So they're a little different from the other ones. Okay, shall we go back to the... Um, to the painting for a bit. <coughs> it's mostly dry. I'll do a quick drying thing. Ooh. Is it helpful? Is it helpful, Sheila? That's so helpful. I'm so glad that it helps. <laughs> so, uh, thank you for coming, Judy. Bye. Okay, so we're at a nice stage now. So what I'm going to do next is we are going to, I might do a tiny bit more shading under the head. Who knows if this is the actual head of the jellyfish? Who knows about jellyfish? Um, surely yeah, it must be because why else would it be at the top? <laughs> oh, it, okay. So sorry, I'm just going to do a little bit more shading there at the top. And then we're not going to do that everywhere because we just want that part to be darker, not the rest. And then we're going to do that same thing where we're going to blend it out a little bit at the edge. And I might do a little bit of that same, like a little bit more dark at the edges. I'm still getting screened. By the way, if anyone has any questions about the painting process or anything else, and uh, the other was the faces of the moon alone. Okay. Thank you, Karen. If you have any questions about anything, uh, any anything about courses, anything about art, anything about life, anything about personal development, anything, anything about me, I'm very well willing and happy to answer questions. 
just throw them in the question no comment bar that's it comment bar comments section top the chat the chat throw them in the chat that will be fine by me okay So you see how, how kind of nice and just calming painting something like this is, and it isn't very, well, I, I, I don't think it's a, the hardest thing we've ever done. All of you, most of you have been with me on a couple of courses. Oh, I think you got a, <laughs> how am I really today, Claudia? I'm not bad, actually. I have eye spots. Oh, eye spots. That's about the. Oh, okay. Thank you. This is helpful. Sorry, sorry. Okay, I'm going to read this out. So, the, the big domed part is usually called the bell or sometimes the umbrella, not the head. Uh -huh. And they have, they do have eyes. They have eye spots, says Beth. And then Claudia has asked me, how am I really? Yeah, okay. That's nice. A couple of questions. Good. So, I'm good. I have a cold and I've just, I've just come out of it though. So, I still have a really bad cough um but i'm much better and whenever i do lives i feel really happy and connected and really kind of uh energized so in this moment i'm really good and i'm feeling excited about the possibilities of lives in the future mostly because you know i'm both on a personal level and on a global level thinking how can we make the world a bit better <laughs> and for me i know that i feel like i lack lack connection with people and i know that the world also not doing well and i <laughs> yes to say the least in many ways it's also doing well in other ways but not well in other ways in many ways and i so i want to create connection and i think this is one of the ways that i can create connection so i feel happy about that thank you for asking um and meg is saying what are the cameras that you are using so you can do this live seeing my face and an overhead shot for sure so my face is coming from this is the uh, laptop in front of me so it's a built-in face cam, was it uh, FaceTime camera in the laptop? But I could do a webcam. I have a webcam as well, but it's not as nice. And then my overhead camera is a Canon webcam. The number is what is the thing? It's an F. Uh, hang on, F, I can't remember the exact number. If you go to my website on what the Willow and it all, it'll tell you exactly the the exact kind of number and the brand. So and that is connected up to something called cam link um so the ca the the camcorder in order to hook it up to youtube you need something called cam well I, in my case i've done it this way you can do it in other ways but i've done it through something called cam link which is a tiny little kind of converter that converts excuse me the the, the video image in through through a cable and then the, the the cam link converts it into something that the computer understands Took me a while to figure it out, <laughs> but I figured it out now. So yes. Oh, okay. So Donna is saying that the Minology cards go together with the Minology journal that this lady has been making for a couple of years. I don't know much about this person or the deck at all. I've only recently got them. Oh wow! So the more information on the jellyfish, it says the Alicia is saying the internet says. It's called the bell, has muscles, but no eyes, ears, or nose, and are 98% water. That is so interesting. No brain, heart, or blood. Whew. Gosh. Yes, it is our common task to make it a better place. That's my hope and my intent with doing these. Okay, Tracy's asking, I'm using the Jane Davenport and my first layers are so pigmented, pigmented so, sh so shading isn't noticeable. Should I add white color? Uh, are you using Jane's watercolor paints, you mean? Because it says she has a lot of different supplies now out. So do, are you saying it's quite thick? Because I think hers do stay quite vibrant. Have you? And if you um, dry it, do they fade a little bit? It really depends on how, what you're trying to create is contrast. So you're trying to create lighter parts and darker parts. 
And if you can create that quite quickly with Jane's um, layer layer uh, paints, then you don't have to do several um, several layers. Oh, I didn't see. Lisa is saying she's had a horrible day. Okay, let's have a look, Lisa. Did you did you ask me? Oh, I've had a horrible day, but this is nice and relaxing. Oh, I'm good. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> did I pull you a card yet, Lisa? Would you like a, a card? Might help as well. I'm sorry you had a bad day, and I send you lots of blessings. Oh, Stephanie, were you sad about the last life book binding video? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that we got uh, a bit of uh, time together here on the live to replace the sadness of um, no life book. <laughs> Great. I'm happy to help Meg. No problem. Yes. Uh, jellyfish are also really relaxing to watch, aren't they? Yeah. So Tracy, so if, if it doesn't fade a lot, and I know that about her watercolors, they're pretty good that way, then what you still hope to create is a roundedness and a sort of a, a, a contrast. So you could use white indeed to kind of lighten up spaces because hers are almost a little bit like gouache aren't they i have some jane davenport <laughs> i love my jane da da davenport um watercolors and she's my she's my lovely friend so she sends me her stuff for free which is really lovely <laughs> <laughs> right here they are oh, this is the this one again look at again with Again, at how I treat the insides of the um, things. This is my favorite one, I think. So, yeah, I've used them a lot. But particular colors, you can see, like, he's totally empty. And certain ones are still full. Yeah. Um, if, they if it's such a thing, if it's such a thing that they don't fade, you might just need one or two layers, and then you just want to maybe lighten up some patches here and there. It's... Um, See how you go. It's experimentation. That's another thing I want to always encourage people is don't, if you can, don't just follow a lesson of mine or a lesson by whoever you do and only do what they do. Also, take the time to experiment. I always say become a creative detective. So sometimes you want to just sort of go, just just no, don't even make a thing or even make this jellyfish and make it five times. And then make it, and maybe you divide your page if you don't want to waste paper into half, you know, so you don't do it on a big piece of paper. And then just make it several times. Make it with different watercolor paints. Make it with, you know, acrylics at some point. And play around with your supplies and see how they behave so that you become intimately aware of and connected to the to the medium. Um, because if you only do the lessons, it's also brilliant and you'll learn loads. But if you only follow everyone's steps exactly as they have only ever told you, you won't become that intimately familiar with the materials yourself. Um, and for a long time, I, I myself found it hard to kind of just mess around. I was quite scared a little bit, sort of hesitant about, can I really do this? What if I mess it up? We're afraid of messing up certain, you know, making a painting. But I feel like it's really important to give yourself the time and space to, you call it, Creative experimentation time. Now I want to see what happens when X, Y, Z. And then you just experiment. And then I'll guarantee you it helps a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, to It helps you grow and understand the material more and just become better at what you do. So that's one of my um, uh, definite um, recommendations. And like Tony says, Tony Bird, who many of you know, she said, I she says, I, pract I uh, treat every painting I make as a practice piece. It's kind of a little bit similar. So what I, what she means by that is she goes she goes in with, I don't know, I'll see what happens. Blah, 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 blah. And then because there is not that pressure, you know, of if you're going in with, I'm going to make a masterpiece, which gives you a lot of, lot of pressure on yourself. Um, she instead does the other thing and she goes, uh, I'm just going to go in with, this is a practice piece. And then it often comes out as a really good looking piece. Not that that's the aim, but, you know, because she releases all this pressure from herself. Oh, Sally, I'm so happy to hear that life has helped you so much. That means so much to me. Yeah, and Stephanie saying happy accidents happen with experimentation. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, Lisa. Okay, Lisa, you'd like a monology card. Cool. Well, let's do that, and then we're going to continue on with the painting process. Okay, so I'm going to pull a card for Lisa. 
Are you ready? This says it is a time for healing. You have the balsamic moon. So I don't know if that resonates or how that feels for you, but that's what I pulled for you. Okay. Do a tiny bit more. Cue the elevator music. Bing, 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 bing. sky i'm your art bum <laughs> i love that <laughs> welcome i'm glad you're here knitting after midnight and watching listening feeling connected from norway that's lovely okay i want to be able to try and pronounce your name some romit probably completely did not say that right some romit um i will pull you a card though maybe i can say Layla. That's easier. You're knitting. Oh, wow, the balsamic moon. Yeah. Okay, I'll pull one more card uh, for, I'm going to say Leila Ockelberg, because right now I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name some, some, some Rummet correctly, and I would like to be able to do that. I love Norway and Sweden. Did you say you wanted a moonology card or an affirmation card? Please let me know, and then I can pull. Oh, I'm so sorry, Lisa. Feels like a time for healing and introspection and, and presence to your grief is important. Yeah, and I hope your twin I give you lots and lots of good blessings for 2020. Though. Okay, I'm going to wait for... Lay Layla to let me know which card she wants okay so now for the I'm sorry if I miss the, the comments go quite quickly so if I've missed a comment and you're thinking I'm ignoring you or you're worried or you're being sad please put a comment back in because I, I hate to to miss a comment and for someone to be sad and thinking I'm not seeing them I want you to be seen and feel that I care I feel I care I care a lot so if I'm missing anyone who's left any comments and sometimes it happens is the comments go so quickly that they jump up before I see them. So please write the question again. Okay, because I do care or comment or whatever you want me to re respond to. A card. I know that I haven't pulled cards for everyone. That was just not possible. But there we go. Hello, everyone who's just come in. Hello. Hello, Kim from New Zealand. Angela from Wakatane, I think that's how you pronounce it. Oh, there you are. Okay, affirmation for, I'm going to say Leila again. Sorry, Leila. Okay, affirmation card coming up, and then we'll do more on this painting. This is my way of uh, shuffling. I'm not very good at shuffling. This is my rheumatism hands. Okay, ready? Oh, this is the same one that we got before. But it might be relevant. Patience. Congratulations. You've been granted more patience. You may start using it right away or much, much later. Waiting a long time is the sort of option now afforded to you by greater patience. Can you believe it? Look at this. You're still reading and you haven't started getting annoyed yet. <laughs> Maybe we have. How does she know? Imagine how this patience will transform your life. Imagine how easy it will be to go to the post office. Patience is a difficult one, isn't it? Sometimes it, fe it feels connected to the other card, which was about divine timing. Yeah, and I, I don't know. Everyone has their own kind of, um, you know, how it lands for you, doesn't it? And then, let's see. OK, I want to talk to you about these brushes um, again. I'm not this is not an affiliation thing, but um, I found Oh, oh, here it is. I was looking for a really thin brush, um, and this these seem really nice, and they were not not too pricey either. They're by Nick Pro. Nick Pro. I've never heard of them before. 
Again, no affiliation. No one's asked me to review them, even though it doesn't matter. Because I still, I tell the, I tell the truth about how I. If they do ask me to review, I do tell the truth. Uh, but they, no one asked me to review these. I just wanted to show you. Oh, um, and they come in all the different sizes as usual. But the one that I'm excited about and that is helpful for this particular activity is this one. I think they call them liner, liner. Okay, it must be something else. See how cinnamon it is. Does it show up properly? My my thing is too dark. Uh, here we go. So for this one, we can do. We're going to do the thin, you know, the thin uh, tentacles. But also, I'm going to use markers for that. But I thought it was really helpful because yesterday when I did this one. I did it with the tip of my other brushes and it's okay. You can do it with the thing, you know, you can do it with the with the tip of a round brush. This it's doable, but I wanted them to be a little thinner. And so um, I remembered that I bought these new brushes and I found this really thin one in there. So I'm excited to try it out. Ooh, and it stays stiff. You see, it's not too flopsy. <laughs> <coughs> okay. So for the strands, um, same color mix, you know, a couple of blues, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna go, we're gonna go like that. Look how pretty! Oh. And on this one, I did some of them quite uh, wavy. I think they're meant to be a little less wavy than I did them on that one. I mean, it doesn't matter, but I thought I'm gonna do them with a little less. Right, we're gonna just go, you know, like kind of long waves. You don't really need this thinner brush, but it helps if you have a thin brush around. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, the brush brand was Nick Pro. And it comes in a really cool tube, and it comes with a soft little baggie, which is very comfortable to the touch. And then um, apparently people like to use these for traveling, but I didn't, I mean, maybe the tube helps with the travel, but it's particularly that thin brush you don't need to buy the whole brand i'm sure uh but i was just kind of impressed with the fact that there was a thin brush in there because i don't i used to i'm, I'm a little bit of a lazy artist sometimes i can't be bothered using all the different materials although that's sad i'm a mixed media artist but i will just try yesterday i just tried to do all the thin the thin um tentacles with my existing brushes you see and i thought oh you should have just st stood up stand your body up and find a thin brush in the stashes that you have. <laughs> and I did it yesterday, but today, because I was going to see all of you, <laughs> I thought I will do that for uh, my live session. So that's how that ended up that I found them again. So you see, so you're going to go over your previous, um, the big, you know, these big ones, the big, thicker, gelatinous, globby, viscous, inside, thicker <laughs> tentacles with thinner strands and it could be a mix of thin it doesn't have to be this thin these can be a little later and you can also do these thinner strands with posca pens if you don't have a thin brush or you don't have a, th a tip of a thin brush either and I, I actually used um for the first time in a while <laughs> i used the color ones uh, i have a pink coincidentally a pink and a blue one which is really helpful uh, triggers yeah on here they're called fine liners but you're right, triggers or some people call them cat layers. It's called a liner on here. But you have you're right that the, is it triggers or riggers sometimes? Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm reading the comments again. Okay, so I'm gonna do some some more of these uh, lines. And we can make some of them a little thicker, you know, don't have to all be the same thin and they can overlap a little. Uh, maybe I will use, let's have a look at these, these other brushes actually. Now this is the one that you shouldn't let stand in your water. I mean, I am terrible for letting all my brushes stand in the water. Uh, and, but, you know, they sort of survive it, but not. it's not really good. You shouldn't do that. But this one would really like to just die <laughs> instantly. Uh, maybe I'll use one of these little, slightly little, 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 little one. This one. What number is this? This is a Nick Pro 4 round. And they're very kind of pointy, so. 
thumbs. A few thicker, uh, few, few thicker ones as well like this. Oh, this is really good. You know, I'm talking about this thing of wanting firmness for my watercolor brushes. These are definitely firmer, but these are not. By the way, um, they. I find it interesting when companies sell brushes that are can be used for all materials. They'll just go, yeah, you know, use them for whatever. And I don't think that's quite, you know. I don't know, it's a bit odd uh, that there are kind of some brands that sell brushes that are only for watercolor or only for acrylics. And then some are like, no, this brush is for all. <laughs> and I don't know if that's just more of a marketing ploy <laughs> to get you to buy these brushes. And I'm sure, I mean, I use, I do use watercolor brushes with acrylics. I am not, not like extensively, but here and there a little bit. But um, I don't know. I just thought it was odd that some brushes are just sold as, yeah, yeah, you use them with whatever. <laughs> as if they go, just buy them, please. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but so these are not, and okay, why I'm commenting on it is because these are firmer. And so I'm wondering if there is a type of brush made that people just go, oh, this can be used for everything, kind of, sort of. And that's when they are mm, firmer. But tell me if I'm wrong. Rigger, yeah, rigger brush was historically used. That's what I meant, yeah. Oh, that's why they're so thin. Uh, oh, hello. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Is it Hega Hansen? And if you are either Danish, Swedish, or Norwegian, Hega, Higa. Yeah, yeah. Thank you that you came. <laughs> hello from Norway. In uh, I can say in Danish, Tusen Tak. Which I think is also, sorry, Swedish, but I think you pretty, pretty much say it in Norwegian as well, sort of similarly, don't you? In, in Dutch, it's thousand dank. Not that we would say it like that, but it's the literal translation, thousand thanks. Ah, yeah, detail brushes, good. You can use them. Now, this um, frustrating, this, um, you know, the, the glitch is happening more often. I'll have to talk to Dan and see what we can do. Okay, so now that we've done, let's see where we're at. I can come, let's compare it to the other one. So this is the other one that I had shown you previously. And what I did here, um, well, they're actually nearly kind of done, really. You can keep going. But on, on that one, we had some kind of, you know, those grooves that some of the, um, grooves that some of those, some of the um, jellyfish have. So the way to do that is we're going to do another couple of layers again. But only at the bottom, the bottom of the bell. Now that I know it's called a bell, it's not called a head. It's called a bell. And so we're going to put some paint at the bottom of the bells. The bell. And then we're going to create those kind of grooves by... Oh, these I really like these brushes, guys. They're so nice and firm. So Nick Pro. Nick Pro, my new favorites. They're so firm. And then you're going to kind of just draw these kind of little lines or grooves. Groove it. But we want this to be a little less. Oh, sorry, I've got too much paint on my brush. Let me just first, sorry, let me just redo that. It's a little too, too dark. Hold on. I do need my Flopsier now. <laughs> it's funny, now I realise that... Um, so Flopsy is good to really kind of create blending. And the harder, the firmer ones are good for doing lines. You know, like the groove. So we'll do that in a second. Let me just do my blending. Ugh. Here I was all complaining about Flopsiness and then going, Actually, I see now... <laughs> These are very firm though, these ones, but I, I look I do love when it's firm because you get so much control over your over your thing. Immediately as I said you get so much control over your thing, I'm reminded of how how um art and creativity so such a 
a reflection or a, a mirror to life, right? My life, how we, how, how our problems we have in life also are mirrored back by art, meaning I was just going to say control. So immediately I have a brush and I go, oh, I love how much control I have, which is often the thing in life where I lose control and I can't deal with control. I, I can't deal with it and I get annoyed. <laughs> And then these cards about the divine timing that came up earlier are trying to remind you that you can't, you need to let go sometimes of control. <coughs> That's what happens for me when I paint. And if I contemplate what's happening on the page and what I'm struggling with in life and how it mirrors. And when I, particularly if I create things like this that are very, um, soothing, you know, let my mind, let's my mind wander. That's how that works in that case. And by the way, I do like doing this sometimes a little bit, where you, where you do a bit of outlining on the outside of your creation, which gives it that kind of illustrate illustratory feel. I didn't do that on the other one, but sometimes I do. Now, I did the lines in wet and wet, which doesn't work, but I like to. I can let it dry a bit and then do a little bit of lines in a second. I don't know if I like the lines there. Two. Two. Start. Okay. Well, I'll let that dry again. And let's use our Posca pens, if you have any. For those of you who don't know what Posca pens are. So they are acrylic markers inside Posca pen. <laughs> You're going to bed, Claudia. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Susan Tuck is the same in Denmark, Sweden and Norway. Ha ha. And you did pronounce my name correctly. Hedda. Oh, good. I'm pleased. <laughs> okay. Um, I really would like to know how to pronounce the other lady's Norwegian name because that seems more complicated to pronounce. So these are acrylics markers and you can uh, you usually can draw with them over most things, not wax crayons, but most other things will accept will be accept it will be acceptable. Cue the um, elevator music. <laughs> Hi Linda Sue, we're kind of near the end I suppose, where are we now? It's midnight here in the UK, I've been on for an hour and a half, it feels like it's only been 20 minutes, but that's what I mean, connection, I feel energised. <laughs> Let me see if I missed any important um, questions, I don't think so. If I miss a question or anything, please put your question back in, I will try and answer it or um, Nick Pro brushes, they do very range, very various ranges of all sorts in various packs, and they're really extremely reasonable. Seriously, so that's what I said. Yeah, she. I, I feel like this pack is about eighteen pounds, which was actually quite reasonable. So they are, and look, they are not floopsy, they are bouncy, but like I said, slightly too bouncy, perhaps. I mean, you know, I think they're made for a variety of mediums, so some of you might like bouncier. Okay. Now look, on this one, what we've done, <clears throat> what I did here, so I used the white Posca pen. Let's look specifically at these. You see those lines under the bell, that's the word. That's kind of like a highlight or it's catching it. And then some of the tentacles come out of that that way as well. And that gives it a really kind of nice contrast and 3D-ness. So let's do a similar thing. But what we're going to do is we're going to kind of outline with our white oh, Posca pen that works. Not a white Posca pen that doesn't work. Let's just wait because this one worked yesterday. That's the downside to wasp Posca pens. They do stop working so easily and quickly. Is this not the one? Let me have a look and see if I can find the one that I use. I have to do this one instead. It may have been my Artistro. So this is also a Posca, uh, an, an acrylics marker. 
Could have been that one. Maybe I was working with that one yesterday. Yeah, that has more live pigments in it. Okay, so we're going to go underneath that bell and we're just going to draw a little white line as a kind of reflection. Those of you who have been with me on Kaleidoscope, you may remember that we did uh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Bennett in a field. And I'm really lately very intrigued by light and how, you know, your backlighting and how if you have the sun coming from behind you instead of in front of you, these sorts of things that you, the shape of the, or the whole painting has a very different feel. And so I've been kind of looking at studying light that is kind of unusual. And then with the, your bite pen, we're also going to draw some tentacles down as well. We can use a little white, sort of something, a little reflection on the on the bell itself, if you want to. Now, and I realized that some of this, the, the, the viscous bit, the gelatinous, oh, the gelatinous bit here, um, here's a little darker here, a little bit. We can make a little bit darker, but I also want to make a little bit more variation on the, the thicker tentacles, the globulous tentacles. So I'm going to do a little bit more, maybe like a little variation on those. And we can do that now or after I've added these other tentacles, but then we'll have to redo this tentacle. So I'm going to bring a bit more shading to those, to the, 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 the thicker part. Like I'll just go here and I can go and try and work between the tentacles because that'll also give that kind of interesting texture. You know how that is so kind of, I imagine that if I was to squeeze the, uh, the tentacles, the, the thicker gelatinous stuff that it would feel quite, um, textured like i would imagine almost like breast tissue or something you know like we have the kind of yeah this sort of um globulous <laughs> set of work so i want to kind of give a bit of an impression of that so by not being too straight and clean with my brush strokes i might be able to kind of create a little bit of texture like that it's so textured and dense and dense, you know, like really thick, like meat and flesh, perhaps. I wasn't explaining this well. <laughs> Which lesson? Oh, yeah, the glow. Oh, thank you, Louise. <laughs> thank you. It's nice to know that some of you have been on that lesson it was a real fun to sort of look at that photo reference and figure out how you might paint that interesting glow uh, on someone so i'm gonna kind of bring some of that more textured fleshy type effect in there oh yeah and if you use a drier brush you can kind of also get really interesting effects with watercolor you make your um, brush quite damp and then you dip your paint into paint that is sl somewhat activated with water but not very watery you can kind of create that sort of um, there's a name for this right do you remember we did this on several classes and i can't remember the name for what it it looks like uh, i should <laughs> should look it up there's a name for the, the type of the type the effect you get you get very kind of uh and textured and messy a messy um, effect and it's nice to combine combine sort of smoother brush strokes with messier ones so let's put a, a couple of pink um tentacles in there as well that i haven't done yet And 
then oh i was going to finish this one off with glitter <laughs> it's glitter time okay So these are thicker again. I'm not using that thin thin is a thin the thin liner. It's just a thinner, the liner, the rigor, the rigor. Not do really thin. Oh, that's a horrible paint. Wow, these riggers are really cool. So thin. I mean they do dry out like the paint comes off obviously by. But if I were to fill it up with more paint, it might work. Okay. It's nice, right? Let's get in there. No, I want a bit. I want some spatter in the bottom of this area here as well. We'll put some spatter there. And maybe we do a bit with um, with the teal. I haven't really done much with the teal. Put spatter here. And, <laughs> oh, you're there. I wanted some between the. Between that tentacle, there's a really big white gap there. Oh, it's a big one. The big, big one. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. So I think we're nearly there with this painting. We have a beautiful little jellyfish there. Uh, I think we could finish it off with a few more of these uh, white lines once it's dry. And then we're going to put some glitter in. So I bought this fine glitter. And what I was going to do with it was partially I was going to do blessings with glitter for people. Which I wanted to do as well. But we're doing lots of um, blessings with the cards. And these are shakers. So it's fine glitter. And uh, I, I grabbed, I bought, bought a whole series of them. I know some people are really like not fans of glitter. And some people are. I don't use it that much. Most of you know, we've been in my courses and know my work. I don't use glitter that much on in my work, but I find that sometimes we did the whale on Lifebook this year and we did glitter. I find glitter sometimes really helpful to just kind of um, obviously add some sparkle to a painting. But also I use it as a metaphor for adding sparkle to my life. <laughs> <coughs> so I thought once we with this dry, we put a small amount of gel medium in this, particularly in this area, a little bit here and there, and then we just pour some glitter over it and then uh, it should be a little bit glittery as well which should be cool what do you think oh press the point down oh you mean for the rigor maybe yes could be okay so I'm probably gonna um, have to log off in about 10 minutes or so so before we go now we're gonna finish this painting for sure but let's um, do a couple more cards and then we'll also pull one card for the group just what someone was saying earlier so who um wants a, a, another reading um some people earlier said they wanted a reading uh, or a reading a, a card pool it's not a reading that's a very strong um word for it because i'm just reading out a card um thank you everyone so if you want me to pull a card for you either a monology card or an affirmation Please put your name or say me and then say which moonology. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Linda. You'd like a moonology card. Great. So I'm going to pull a card for you now for Linda Harvey. Ah, oh, thank you, Mick. And Karen wants one. If you want one, Karen, please tell me which card affirmation. I don't want to miss now. Karen affirmation. Okay. It's not a reading. Sorry, I called it a reading. It's not a reading, Glowy. Glowy Chloe, I like your name. I, I just want to take that back. It is a is a card that I'm putting for you. Oh, so Moonology first. Get ready. This is work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. So this was for um, Linda Harvey. Work through your fears. You have the new moon in Scorpio. I hope this is somehow resonating for you. And a blessing and love your way. Lots of love and blessings your way. And then um, I'm going to get out down and see. Affirmation for Kelly Grant. We're going to do affirmation for Kelly. Kelly, are you ready? Have a little moment where you might think about 
something that you're struggling with or you want an answer to here we go oh interesting this card says impermanence life is always changing as i and and i drift easily through those changes good and bad as i drift through hard times i can take comfort in knowing that i will leave them behind and as i drift away from good times i can take comfort in knowing that more will come my way impermanence is an equal opportunity nonity none oh non-entity <laughs> i was like what is this word nonity i've got non-entity impermanence is an equal opportunity non-entity so i'm wondering if this resonates for you it's quite a profound one okay i'll put that back in the deck let's see so we have um, ratchet up your art i don't know your name <laughs> you want a moon card cool so take a moment and i will get you a moon card oh conclusions are within reach i think someone else had this one as well full moon eclipse I hope that's helpful somewhere, somehow, one way or another. And then Karen Dean said affirmator. Did I do you? No, I didn't do that. It's not the tarot. No. Okay. An affirmator for Karen. Get ready. Oh, patience again. <laughs> okay. I think this one is just trying to give us, telling us that we all need to be patient. So I'll read it one more time. Patience, congratulations, you've been granted more patience. You may start using it right away or much, much later. Waiting a long time is the sort of option now afforded to you by greater patience. Can you believe it? Look at this. You're still reading and you haven't started to get annoyed yet. <laughs> this is really funny to me because it's because by giving us this card constantly, we're really having to be patient, aren't we? Imagine how this patience will transform your life. It would. Yeah. Imagine how easy it will be to go to the post office. Okay. It might really, really be relevant to you. That's the thing. You know, why not? Like, that's why I put the card. Initially, I was taking the cards out and not sort of reading the same ones out again. But that's kind of unfair, isn't it? Because you might need to hear that particular message. So. But I didn't want to repeat the, <laughs> repeat the same cards. <laughs> oh, that's funny to me. Okay. What else? Let's see. Um, uh, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I will do two more. Two more. Uh, two more cards. Um, a card then. Glowy, glowy, Chloe for sure. Glowy, glowy, Chloe. Tell me which one. We have moon cards or affirmation cards. And Louise Johnson is saying an affirmation. Guys, if I pull the patience one again. <laughs> okay, Louise Johnson, are you ready? <laughs> I feel scared now. Okay, no. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Vitality. I am healthy and vital and strong. My radiant love of life fills me with healthy, vital and strong cells. Each cell is a warrior. Everyone has its own sword and shield. I dare you to try and penetrate my cellular army. Didn't think so, chump. And I also want to dedicate, in addition, for this being um, Louise's card, so I want to dedicate this one to Alejandra, who was saying earlier that she has health issues. Okay, one more, okay? <laughs> Uh, oh, Kelly, I'm help. I'm happy that it helps you. Thank you. I'm sorry you're feeling depressed. I'm gonna send you lots of love and blessings. Kim, love it. We'll do this card now, and then we'll finish it off with the group one after we finish the painting. Okay? All right, that'll be kind of fun. All right, nearly there. This is for Kim. Let it not be patience. <laughs> But it'll say something like, you can't control this, Tam. Okay, Kim? 
Ready? <coughs> okay, here we go. Engagement. Today I make the conscious choice to engage with the world in an active way. I'll take a new route and talk to strangers. I will smell flowers and pet dogs and maybe walk around barefoot for a while if I'm not inside a 7-Eleven. At the very least, I'll have a day that's slightly more interesting than average. And at the most, I'll have a startling epiphany or make a friend who will change my life forever. No pressure. So, Kim, that was your one. I hope it resonates for you. All right, let's put the finishing touches on our um, jellyfish and then we'll do a collective card at the very end. And I bet you it's going to be patience. <laughs> okay. Because I'm going to finish this by using my Posca pens, the blue one and the pink one, and doing a few more of those tentacles. Oh, oops. I went through water there. That's okay. It doesn't mind water so much. The pink one. So pretty, these pink ones. The pink Posca pen is really nice, I have to say. Oh, I went through water again. Just one more, maybe. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then I was going to do this glitter. So I'm going to have to not overdo it because I can overdo things. Oh, and I haven't really. Well, these have come out a bit. I don't think we need the grooves. We can do more grooves, but let's not. Let's not worry about them. The grooves are okay. I think the bell looks nice as it is. Okay, so, so with um let's oh let's do let's do it like this let's take a q-tip and apply apply uh the the glue the melt the gel medium i use this by the way for those of you who want to know this is impasto gel i'm gonna i'm gonna use a q-tip so i can kind of dot dot it a little bit with a brush it might not be as uh, elegant so we're just going to put a few little dots of glue in some areas and not loads like i said I, I can sometimes overdo this sort of stuff or maybe we oh that'd be nice just like a, have a little that would need to be done with the brush actually i know i know maybe we do a little um a little bit of sparkle on the edge of the globu globu globular globular so like on the edge here what do you think so we're gonna paint some glue onto the edges of these thicker tentacles and then put some glitter on that i don't know so now i have blue i have blue glitter the fine glitter Let's see, maybe this, let's not do the dots, I mean, maybe, I'll try. let's try it out a little bit, which blue, which blue fits this one, or, oops, this one or this one, or this one, okay, okay, it's now dry. <laughs> Now, of course, I've waited so long that it's dried, probably. Okay, we're going to just gently pour that onto the glued bits. And because I waited too long to choose, it's probably dry. <laughs> okay, and then for glitter, you obviously need to see. You see it? See? Yeah. See it sparkle. See it sparkle. Just let it dry a little bit. I can probably dab it in or, or push it in a little bit. I'm not that big. I don't know. You know, I don't use glitter a lot. So I'm not that kind of like really, really knowledgeable how to use it properly. But we did we do use it here and there. I just mix it in with my glue. Let's push it into that gel medium a little bit there with the probably don't have to do this because glue is fairly sticky. And this is very fine glue, so. Okay. Okay. 
haven't read the comments in a while let's have a look oh, i'm glad it was relevant kim <laughs> the group one is patience <laughs> it would be very funny <laughs> if the final card that i pull is patience <laughs> that is our general like you know the the need that we all have or, or something all right so i'm gonna just um see what happens if i gently blow this away let's see like i need to be careful i don't inhale this Okay. See, it dried, so I don't have much left, but it's a little bit actually. That's probably enough. Do you see the little bits there? So there's little bits of sparkle. I don't want to overdo it, so that's kind of nice, but I'll put a little bit more, but that's kind of cool. You see, so we're going to get tiny, small amounts of of sparkle in the, in the tentacles. It's really nice, actually. Uh, and I need to kind of be more quick with uh, with the application of the glitter. I cry glitter. Do you know Anthony and the Johnsons, who are now not called that anymore, but the band um, wrote a song called Epilepsy is Dancing. Epilepsy is dancing. She's the Christ now departing. And in that song, oh, there are lyrics, which is, I cry glitter. I cry glitter. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. This is quite an unusual band, or not very well known. And he wrote some beautiful, very tender songs, and very unusual kind of lyrics, like, Lyrics that are all not spelled correctly, but kind of intentionally, which I really liked. It's called Bird Girl, and then Bird Girl was spelled not not in the English way, in the correct English way, but it was all deliberate, very beautiful stuff. Okay, so we're edging. We're just doing the edges, the edges um, with glitter, some somewhat. See how you go. You might want to do it somewhere else, just making it up. As I go along, as usual. Okay, a bit more. But we don't want to waste too much. That's the other difficulty. It's kind of hard to, um, you know, tap it in and not uh, waste too much, really. It's hard to avoid. Hard to avoid. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Ruining the brush. All right. <laughs> I love that. Stephanie. Stephanie says last week when she looked in the mirror, there was glitter on her um, cheek, which I think is yes. Or paint. I have walked around. I have been known to walk around with paint on my face. Sky. Night. Night. Sleepy. Willowettes. I love that. Willowettes. Beautiful day here. In Oz, have a great day, those at this end of the world. I'm going to paint something, not picked up a brush for months. Oh, I hope you'll paint a jellyfish. <laughs> but maybe if you wait for five minutes, you can get the card for the group. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Karen. That is so lovely. All right. <clears throat> like a fairy dust magic. Yes. You're very welcome. Thank you, everyone, for coming. So now let's just take the glitter off. I think I'm good. Uh, and then we'll do a final card pull for everyone, like a group card. I think it's super fun. And it would be kind of insane if it was the Patience card. OK, I'm going to just um, do this. Oh. Oh. I am now probably doing it. Okay. That's nice. Okay. So here we go. So I've got some of the glitter there. You see, on I don't know if it picks it up. Let's pick it up. How do you? Oh, it's important. This is sharp. Come on. You should glitter. Glitter. I need to shine a light on it like with my, with my phone. <coughs> a little bit. 
Oh, yeah, you can see there. You see that? You see the gizzard there? You can see it. <laughs> so, anyway, that's a nice little feature, a nice little touch that you can do to your painting. Okay, everyone. So, let me show you what I can do. I can make my face bigger now. <laughs> so, I'm going to finish the. Here I am. And you can see my camera there. You see a little bit. So, let's. Just want to thank you all so much for coming to my second live. It's been a lot of fun. I'm very grateful. And I send you lots and lots of blessings and wishes for good health, abundance, love, joy, creativity, connection, belonging, community. I send it all your way. And now let's pull the final card. We'll do the affirmation card because that's the one that we have been doing. I love being a Willowette. I like that too. That could be my, like, I never really thought of names for, you know, for people that like me <laughs> and hang out with me. So Willowette sounds really sweet, actually. All right. I'm going to do a proper, like, oh, you can't see it now because I've got my face in there, but here we go. Okay. Final card. And then I have to hold it up to you, actually. Okay, here's the final card. I'm going to pull it now. One, two, three. Oh, okay, interesting. It's not, it's not um, patience, but it is a bonus card. I'm going to read it, okay? Or what I'll do, is so you can read it with me, I'll make it go back, the OBS thing. I'll make the, my face go back. Here we go. Because <laughs> this is a good card. For us as a group, Communication. Wonder how that other person's feeling. Ask them. Wish they knew how they were feeling. How you were feeling. Tell them. You've just been drafted in the, into the communication army. Where there is a strict do ask, do tell policy. I love that. Do ask, do tell policy. Speak with kindness and gentleness and reach an understanding. If you don't, assumption will just make asses of everyone. <laughs> including the person who came up with that aphorism. How cool that communication came up. That's one of my favorite cards. And it's a bonus card as well. So it means that, I don't know, you're being granted something. How cool is that? So that is our, our, final, uh, our final card for the group. I think that's awesome. So basically, we are all invited to let each other know more how we're feeling and also to share uh, as to how we're feeling and also ask how others are feeling. And so that would create more connection, more community, more belonging. That's my hope. The Willowette communi Communication Army. Salute, Stephanie. <laughs> I love that. Thank you. <laughs> it's been really great. Thank you all so much for having me. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's lovely, Linda. <laughs> That's so great to know. And thank you so much for being here today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed uh, hanging out with me for and each other for a bit. I really enjoyed it. And if you have made any uh, jellyfish, please come in and post them in the group uh, on Willowing and Friends or somewhere on Facebook or tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see your jellyfishes. And uh, I'm going to do another live at some point. I will email and post it whenever we're doing another live. I think this is really fun. <laughs> Thank you so much. I've <laughs> been granted patience. <laughs> uh, it was your question for me, Claudia. Yeah, you exactly asked that. How are you really? Thank you. See, and it was your card then as well. <laughs> Melissa, the question, the cards I've, I've used are Moonology by, uh, here we go. I'll show you the front ones. Oh, I'll hold them up to the, so affirmations affirm affirm affirmators are the affirmation cards really fun if you look them up on amazon you'll find and moonology are the moon ones i hope i'm showing them properly and that it's not half because i can't see now what i'm doing as in my face is in the way of my other camera yes i am hoping to do more lives melissa for sure it's really really fun have you pulled a card for you, mum? For myself? <laughs> no, I haven't yet. <laughs> Shall I? 
I think the communication card is really also for me, or it's just saying, oh, let's see. I'll pull one for myself, actually. So that is interesting. Let's see what I get. It'll be, it'll be, it will probably say something like, let go, don't try and control everything. It'll be fine. Go with the flow. You numpty. Okay, I've got this one. No need to do. <laughs> this is telling me to chill out. <laughs> okay. I'm exactly where I need to be. Exactly where I need to be. Oh, no. I'm exactly where I need to be. Exactly when I need to be. There's nothing more I need to do. I mean, yes, there will always be laundry and taxes. But in terms of my life's path, I don't need to do anything because I'm already here. I take a deep breath, relax and trust, and then do the laundry. <laughs> That's mental. <laughs> Very applicable. Very applicable. <laughs> no need to do more. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, universe. Thank you very much. Okay, everyone. I'm going to let you go now. And um, yeah, bask in the uh, energy of us all. Thank you so much. And I'll see you again soon. I hope to go live again maybe in a week or two or so. We'll see. I'll see how I go. Big hugs. Bye. Basically, let go. Exactly, Alicia. <laughs> That's what it says. <laughs> yep. It is a perfect card for me. <laughs> All right. Much love, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your night, day or afternoon. Big hugs. And I'm so grateful for you um, that you came. Thank you. Bye.